My main research area is the Mamluk period, the period uh, from between about uh, 1250 and 1500. Uh, uh, I, I deal with all kinds of texts from this period. Um, for the cluster, um, our specialization is to uh, research the relationship between religion and politics. So we are studying um, literature of advice for rulers or poems in praise of rulers in order to find out uh, what was the approach, was it more political, was it more religious, and w in which relation is the political and the religious aspect. Well, you know, the Mamluk period we are dealing with has not been studied so well until now. Uh, until now, only very few aspects have been, uh, have been studied good as economics or things like that. But uh, very few texts have been studied in, in detail. Uh, and so you have even to discover new texts, uh, uh, texts which are not known so far. And so it's a bit of um, exploring a new continent, you know, uh, and this makes it rather fascinating because around every corner you can find something you did not expect, something completely new. And it's more interesting than just to copy uh, quotations from, from other publications. <laughs> Well, first, uh, it fills a gap. As I already mentioned, the Mamluk period is not very well studied in many aspects. And, um, and it's very important to get an, an overall picture of uh, the history of Arabic societies uh, and of Islamic societies. Uh, uh, th this is uh, uh, one, one aspect. And uh, the other aspect is that, of course, it's uh, interesting for all periods uh, how religion is related to politics. Um, in pre-modern societies, you can never uh, uh, take them completely apart. Or always politics is something to do with religion and, and vice versa. But nevertheless, uh, people uh, can be quite um, specific. Uh, they, they can have a very pragmatic approach to politics, even if religious aspects play a role. And it's interesting to see this in a comparative perspective. <laughs> main approach is philology. We are working with texts uh, and we are interpreting texts, but before we can interpret texts, we have to have them, we, we, we have to read them. And many of these texts are not even published, so they are only extant in form of manuscripts. So we have to get photograph, photographs of these manuscripts and we have to pr produce our texts uh, before we work with it. Um, so it's um, it's rather a, a philological approach uh, uh, in the moment, but of course we, we use uh, uh, approaches of uh, other disciplines for our, re uh, for, uh, our results. Well, so far uh, we've discovered, first we've discovered a lot of new and interesting texts which were not studied so far, uh, but we've also uh, found out that uh, the Mamluk period was a vibrant period, a period uh, in which there uh, was a multifold approach uh, to all aspects of society, a period which was not a period of decline, but a period where people were thinking a lot about uh, many things and uh, which produced a lot of uh, fascinating texts. This is one aspect. The other aspect is that uh, the period was much less dominated by religion than is generally assumed. Um, people always think that in Islam every field of, of your life uh, is soaked with religion, so to say. Uh, we found out that this is not true. There are, were many fields in which religion did not play the dominant role, and there was a very pragmatic uh, approach to politics as well, besides a religious one. Mm -hmm.